<laughs> lovely, lovely. Just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the time of the uh, party. And this is quite a bit of my feet. Especially when I know it's Oh, Jesus. Good afternoon, people. Wow, the time has come. We it's are doing the famous big tea. tea. Yeah. <laughs> it's the <laughs> big the tea, tea, as they call it. But I've only got a little glass. It's all I can afford, people. Um, it's only a, yeah, brewed with passion in Scotland mm -hmm. since 1885. Jesus, so admitting it. Oh dear. Okay, right. Anyway, going to give a fair judgment on this. Um, thank you for all the feedback on the. Her Tom, so you know, yeah. some of you got your opinion, we got ours, but it's good, it's like that's how it should be, isn't it? Yeah, indeed. I've got a bit of a panning on Facebook, but nothing I didn't expect, right? Anyway, I'm gonna fill this one up as well. Cake Exchange back up, um, do join, especially if you've got COVID. Oh. I have to get that little dig in. I'm not getting that little dig in, would I? Looking like a good pour. Of course it is. What was I when I met you? Apart from a piece head. So it's got a nice amber colour, reasonable carbonation, nice frothy head. The best thing about this is Kanye on the back. So, and now I'm going to attempt this one. That might be a little bit harder being a small glass, might it? I remember what that picture yeah, after. There we go, let's give this a go. We're Running at three degrees, by the way. I know you can't see me properly, but it's the aim of the camera. The wife preferred it on her. You probably did as well. There you are. That's not bad, is it? And there we go. The big tea in a little glass. Right. You want to do us a quick snap of Okay. Yeah. You move around behind me while I'm setting yeah, this up. I'll get out of the way. Don't want to be cramping the style of the old big tea, do I? You have to type in. I've typed it in, it's not working, it's on my phone. <laughs> it's the same password code I always use. Okay. She knows it's my passcode. Trust me. Yeah, we've got a couple, that will do. Okay, so let's just move this round a little bit. I did wonder, but you know. So we're both in it. There we go, that's nice. That's nice of you, thank you. Um, right. So, it's now cost £32.50 I do believe uh, from our friends at Beer Hawk. Um, 4% 4% ABV nothing like the old tenant super rocket fuel we used to drink in this is um, one of the biggest selling lagers in Scotland don't they? one of the biggest selling lagers on the perfect draft so there we go it broke the internet there you go the power of Scotland eh? yeah well Considering it uses 100% um, Scottish barley, and the water that is in that is used to produce this is um, from the lock cuttering. Is it? Are well, they taking responsibility? So, um, ah, see. I can see why they kind of hold it in high steam because all the ingredients are Scottish, and it's it, you so know it's, it, it's their drink. So. They're responsible then. Um, you're saying so they're responsible for this. And it's also vegan. Right. Well, wow. I don't know about that. Right, yes, it is. <laughs> um, um, going back a bit of history quickly. Um, I went to Blackpool in 1996 on the uh, for a weekend. Didn't come back till 1999. Met loads of my Scottish friends up there. We had Glasgow fortnight and we had Glasgow weekend every weekend <laughs> because there was loads of us. Well, loads of them, but I got on really well with them. One thing they were into was the big tea. So yeah. Um, I didn't, mind, I didn't mind the tenant super before I went out some days until they introduced me to Buckfast, which only killed me, but you know, um, 
I'm prepared to give anything a go. We did have a little sample of this last night. Mm -hmm. I had a good taste as I took the thing, so I'm not getting it up my nose. So I'm yeah, going to try and swirl um, it. The aroma I'm not getting a lot from at the moment. It, it smells very much like a bog standard lager to me. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to. I'm going to swell mine a bit. Oh, okay. I'm losing the head a bit here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh -huh. Okay, I get it. Right, here we go. See, all the beer, no idea. Anyway. Talking of other people, Josh from Semo Sups rated this beer. So there you go. It's his fault. Right. Is there a hint of lemon in it? Slight. <laughs> yeah, it's very slight. Like the flavour. It's very slight. Um, oh dear, I can't keep slating these perfect draft keg tips. I've been kicked off the influence of this. Um, For me, this is... A traditional old school style lager you've got your malts you've got delicate hops in there a fair good amount of carbonation um you ain't got a lot else though have you in all due honesty um this is watery what i would expect from a lager that's been around for a long long time it isn't trying to be fancy it isn't trying to be anything that it isn't it's certainly um, not Oh, it's tricky. Oh, do you know what? On one thing though, it's no worse than the Hurtong. It hasn't actually got that weird twang. Considering it is a lower ABV beer at 4%, it isn't overly watery. But it ain't that great. In all due honesty. For me, it's a, it is a standard style lager that you would expect to get in a pub. Um, yeah, we well, get Colin in the pub, you get this. That's actually probably better than carving. It has quite a refreshing note, and maybe that's the type of water that's used. Um, I could see why people would want a session on this during the daytime. If you're out all day, you're going out in the evening, you are not going to end up a wreck drinking this. So, no yeah. Way. You'd end up stone cold sober. Um, you know, Bazza did the whole thing, we were still sober. <laughs> Please, if you want to know anything about this drink, <laughs> you must follow all the beer and whole idea, because he does the tenants with you. And then he does a little update <laughs> nine pints later. But he's an animal, I must admit. Lucky it wasn't Facebook, I'll get done for saying that. I'll get another man. <laughs> it's not It's not overly offensive, if I'm honest. Um I don't find this offensive at all. It it, it reminds me of days gone by. It is very old school. You have got none of your fancy flavours and things that you get in a lot of craft type style lagers and beers now um, but sometimes there is a place for the older style that is just traditional yeah, and I think that's dad. probably why people keep going back to it because it's been a firm favourite for years they know where it's brewed it's British it's vegan um, yeah I can see why it would be popular is it something I would drink a lot of Probably not. I prefer stronger beers with stronger flavours, but that's my own personal preference. It is what it is. It, it does what it says on the on the, on the website to an extent, doesn't it? Mm. Um, it's not rated. I mean, there's a lot of love and hate for this. Whereas to like something like Hurtong that we reviewed, there's so much love for it, and you think, well, that ain't all that. At five point one or five point two, five point one, wasn't it? With that, I expected a little bit more. That's why I found it very average. Whereas with this tenants, I kind of knew what to expect from it. Not and a lot. It's, it's um, yeah, it is what I expected it to be. I must admit though, on a hot summer's day, mm. a standard lagers go, it ain't that bad. Yeah. I didn't expect nothing. I just did it because I thought I'm going round the thing of PD kegs. Which I was doing anyway. And we haven't done this before. Yeah. Long before we started YouTube, our aim was to drink every keg. We've done quite a few of them, haven't we? Some of them we were repeating because of, obviously because of YouTube and obviously I repeat fans kind of every time I can because I love it. But it's not as bad as I expected. I thought this would be one where I was like, oh, I can't drink it. I'm sorry. 
Yeah, they, they, this, it's not offensive in, in the way that you, you sit and think, oh, I can't do that, that's not nice. There's nothing like it's that, not, but it's it is your time. very standard um, traditional right? style lager that I feel that to have a keg of this in for a hot day barbecue is going to be perfect. Everyone's going to get along with it. There's no flavours in there that are good. people go, oh no, I don't like that. That's not and you ain't going to be like. fighting because you're not going to get drunk. And you can session on it because it isn't too heavy. If you did, if you did the keg, I think you'd be blitzed. So, you know, that's you. You got blitzed on Foster's after the seven pints. Same percentage. Hey. Uh, when we had the caravan last year. Well, probably because I didn't eat all day. You did, we before we went out. Don't lie. You see? It's not that bad. Yeah, it's not that great, but it ain't that bad. It is what it is. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Um, it is exactly what it says. It for is. me, I'm just going to say here, this, I'm just going to, um, I don't know what to <laughs> say, actually. Right. Then I'm going to put my um, my say in there. You said it. It is what it is. It isn't trying to be something fancy. It doesn't try and dress itself up as something fancy. It is exactly what it says it is. Um, and for that, I'm giving it a yes. And I'm going to give it a seven because <coughs> this cake isn't trying to be anything okay. fancy. It's not yeah, trying well, I'm to expecting be. expecting that. that that's what it is, and there's no pretense about it, so yeah. It's yeah, I, I, I agree with what you're saying there. And everyone can drink it, it's an old school style, yeah, but most I people do. are going to not find offensive. It's also vegan, so your friends that are vegetarian, vegan, they could come around and share a beer with you as well. So, yeah, yeah. at least I ain't going to get drunk, are they? I mean, <laughs> Jesus, right. Um, I got a good 7 out of 10, God, so that's criminal. Um, you've got to rate this. Um, for me, I have to say it's a no. <laughs> I wouldn't entertain this again if um, my life depended on it, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just, <laughs> all right. Well, that's controversial. I'm just don't, being say, honest. don't say we always agree because we don't. <laughs> um, I give it a no, and if I was being generous, give it a four or five out of ten. You know, bordering on a yes on a hot day. As I said, it is what it is, but it is poor and it is crap. That's just um, <laughs> how it is. I'm sorry if I offended anyone from Scotland. I love you all, I swear, but Jesus. At the end of the day, Paul, you don't have to apologise. It's just your opinion. Yeah. We're not standing here saying we know it all. It's just our opinion. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> one thing. I know this is crap. <laughs> okay. Mm. Are we finished? I think we are. Right. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching, people. <laughs> um, good to see you. Please don't delete me because of it um you know it's one of the things but at least i'm honest right so feel free like subscribe dislike unsubscribe comment don't comment bonjour Bye.